It's probably the most difficult shot in the game. It's a, it's a stun run through, and you've got to play it perfectly. We're just swinging the ball round, and he's sort of hitting it dead centre, just slightly below centre, and you punch the shot, and you, you're hitting the ball hard, but the white's only going through six inches, and it's round about where I've got that tip on, and John played it perfectly, and he did get a round of applause for a fairly straightforward pot, but I think the crowd appreciated that stun run through, played to perfection. It's with a wonderful, wonderful shot where you were talking about Joe's cue action and he generates so much spin. We see a shot here that he needed that spin. Yeah, I mean, in fact, he's bridging on the cushion, so that makes it even doubly difficult. Hawkeye's going to spin it around and show you where he's got to hit uh, to try and create that backswing right down at the bottom. As we, we look at a, a cue ball, we, we say he's hitting it at 6 o'clock. Use it as a clock face. And you've got to be absolutely perfect when you cue these. And just have a look at this. It was like slow motion the way he brought the white back there. Well, it was slow motion you were watching. <laughs> should say and he had played with a lot of reverse side show me this one yeah well I've got a, a few new little bits uh, here in the commentary box now he's going to play it with re reverse side and when we say reverse side there's the tip of the cue there that I've put if he hit it there he would just come back off the cushion and out square what he's done he has actually hit the white somewhere near where I've got the little tip of the cue there and that's why it come back and then spun to the right so it's reverse side hits it on the left and the white goes off to the right does it make any difference with the pot then Dennis when you're playing it playing it like that do you have to aim for the pocket or do you aim for one of the jaws you've got to adjust because the white will throw it off line slightly now watch the white when it hits the cushion couldn't have played that any better but it's such a tough shot to play Leung Wen Bo played earlier on in the game where he's straight on the black and plain ball couldn't have got on a red no, so what you've got to do here, you play, we call it reverse side, because what you've got to remember is the ball, the cue ball is coming back towards us with a cushion, so you put right hand side on. Now if you could imagine, if you were playing the white coming off the black, you'd put right hand side on, wouldn't you? So it's reverse side, you play with right hand side, and then when it comes back, it will go to the left. And he couldn't have played this better. Bottom, right hand side, hit the cushion, Moved up the table, perfect on the next red. It's called reverse side, but it's a shot that is very handy, particularly when you've not got the right angle on the colour. At the early part of that break, he did run slightly out of position. He was on the brown here, and we're going to try and show you. I mean, look at that. He, he had to get right up the table. Hawkeye shows you. That's the angle he's faced with there. And where we've got the little blue chalk mark there, that is where he would have to hit the white to pot the brown to create the spin that would take him up the table. And we just got the little blue dot there. Now let's show exactly what happened here. Now watch the white. Hits the bottom cushion with the side, second cushion with the side, and right him in amongst the reds. But that was a superb effort. This was the shot he played, which was superbly played. This is Hawkeye showing you. This is where he had to hit the white, and he stunned it. It was a really forcing stun shot, because when the white hit the cushion, you thought it was going to stop. And then look at the action he got on that. Brilliant, that one. There was one shot in that, and I talked about the cue power of this young player. And we're going to show you with uh, Hawkeye exactly how he created the top spin. This was the shot here and he had to force it all the way around the angles to get to the two reds. Now, this is where he's got to make contact with that cue ball. Top spin and to the left so that you spin the white when it hits the cushions and you've got to push the cue through. And he plays it so well, he generates so much power. And just have a look at what happened here. Yes, yeah, so and the beauty of the shot, Dennis, was it not only got to do that, he would got to get on another red, and of course with pink and black out of play, he went on in that frame, amazing enough, to pot 10 red blues, 60 points scored off the blue alone. Well, Willie, let's have a look back at this screen, the highlight of the, the tournament so far. Watch this. 
Well, the problem he's got, the angle's, you know, only there if you hit it plain ball, because it, you, and you've got to hit it as high as you dare. You know, he's not necessarily putting any side on whatsoever, because these cushions now, they, they just, if you go in at speed, they'll, they'll generate the little bit of spin you need. Now, just keep an eye on the right. You know, absolutely plain ball. I mean, that was, for me, one of the top two or three shots in the championship. Uh, Ali played, he, he was a little bit awkward on the black, he was just off straight. Now, he couldn't get into the reds, so he's going to play for the red that's uh, near the middle pocket, and you're playing this with top spin. And we'll show you with Hawkeye exactly where he's striking, just around about the spot there with top spin, so that when he hits the black, it comes off the top cushion, as we look at it there, side cushion, and out on the reds. But you must follow through. In fact, Ali, he didn't quite hit it hard enough, but watch the top spin as it hits the top side cushion and then out on the red. He, he still potted the red. Straighter on the red would have been better, but that's how you play with top spin. You're hitting the ball at roughly one o'clock. There was one key shot in that break where he had to play the green. Now, he's got to get into the, the reds, and they're not a good. He can't come off the side cushion because it's a bit off straight. We'll try and show you. There's Hawkeye, and he's got to get so much screw on this, so we've got the little blue dot, um, and that's where Graham was striking the cue ball, but didn't he hit it well? And he had to avoid the cannon on the pink, and just watch the result. Played beautifully. Yeah. Big break from O'Sullivan. The secret lay in how he opened the bunch while retaining position. Yeah, there's three reds available, but the one that's next to the black was the one that uh, Ronnie decided then, I've got to go into them here because that red's available, but he's the best in the business at this type of shot. That's roughly where he's striking the cue ball, right-hand side, down in the bottom, and he creates the spin. You'll see the white when he goes into the pack. It stops, and then it spins again. Now, just watch how it stops here, and then it spins back a second time. And we'll show you on this angle exactly the white. It arcs round and then spins back again. And he's one of the best in the business at that type of shot.